jungle. Yes, you are. David L. Cook, live in concert. But the Lord will supply. God. David L. Cook's preparation for his upcoming concert begins far in advance. I was thinking about doing uh, something that would lead the people, you know, closer to the Lord. Uh, uh, you know, because a lot of people want to come to the Lord, but, you know, they just don't know how. So I was thinking about doing Huh? How many are you going to sing it? There's three. They've asked for three. So I was, I was thinking about doing uh, You Want To, Now Will You. I would like to think that I'm somebody who is uh, true to my cause, somebody who is not just out there for the celebrity of anything, but actually out there just, just to win the souls that, that need to be won. And I think that's, that's who David Cook is. Uh, I think the smaller places we go is the places where we have some of the best times because people are really, really willing to serve the Lord and let go and really willing to worship, you know, without any hindrance. And I, I like that. What are you going through here, then? These are my songs. Which ones will you be doing now? My song. Touch of people once again. And you want to, now will you. All right, there's the audio, man. Okay. He was just going to performance track, mm -hmm. performance side. My song was there. Oops. And oh, that, of course, was on performance yeah. track as well. My family being the Cook family singers, I've had years and years of uh, experience. Uh, but my styles have changed over the years after the retirement of my family. And uh, I think that in that, my attitudes have changed, too. Um, it's, it's more than going out into concert now. It's, it's meeting the needs of people. David L. Cook meets the needs of people not only in concert, but with television, making numerous appearances. And uh, the one thing that I like about what I do is I always try to incorporate many different kinds of music, um, some Southern gospel, some inspirational, some, you know, contemporary, uh, just a, a whole group of music that uh, I feel that will minister to many different people. The big day is now here. David L. Cook live in concert. But first, Rehearsal, where it all comes together. What's the greatest thrill that David Cook gets when he's on stage? Seeing the people being touched by, by what I'm singing, by what I'm saying. Uh, it's, it's a feeling like you, it's the greatest high you can ever have in the world. Just put them on the floor and aim them up. Well, the day has just begun. Without the Lord, I don't think that I would be able to, to walk every day um, because he has been there for me in times that no one else was. I was all alone except for me and the Lord. And I think that, that is one thing that you never, ever forget.
or nothing at all. It's got to be true. I got a meaning when I say I believe. It's got to be true. Because I don't want people looking at me as a celebrity. I want them looking at me as a musical minister. And if I allow, you know, a major record company to, to take my stuff, or if I allow, you know, allowed uh, certain things to be played on the radio or whatever, then I would, in essence, be filling that celebrity role. And that's something I do not want to get wrapped up in. David L. Cook will tell you, performing in front of people is not always an easy task. It's somewhat stressful. These are to help alleviate your stress. What can you tell us about uh, your music? How do you write it? How does it, how does it come to be? It's just inspiration. Mm -hmm. it's, it's whatever I'm feeling. It's whatever the Lord lays on my heart. Um, and a lot of it is just luck of the draw. Showtime is now just moments away. We now head to the dressing room, where David L. Cook begins his final preparations. David, what comes through your mind moments before stepping out there on stage? That the Lord is being magnified and that the Lord is going to be lifted up and I'm concentrating mainly on meeting the needs of those people out there because they're really the reason why I'm here. And uh, with that in mind, you know, there, there is nothing else going through my mind except that the Lord will anoint my voice and, and anoint it to a way that it is uh, productive. What's it mean to you to portray these characters? I mean, such, such huge characters of the Bible. I think it's great because when I'm out there and the Lord's leading me into what I need to, to do and what I need to say, I kind of put myself in their position as to exactly what they were going through and exactly everything that, that was on their mind at that time. That, that's, what, that's what's really going through my mind right now. After this song right here, uh -huh. that's when they'll also do it. Okay. Because that's when I'm leaving. Okay. Okay. Now, in between here, do you want them to do anything? Be prompted yeah. to do yeah. anything? Yeah. After each song, we want them to clap. Yeah. Actually, I'm not thinking about anything except the worship, mm -hmm. you know, because as those people are out in the congregation and they're worshiping, I'm actually up on the stage worshiping myself. So, you know, just my worship is very much more broader and, and more vocal, you know, um, which, is, which is obvious. You ever leave like a big clump of makeup on his forehead or something during the show? Uh, no, that would I try to put it on so that it's not, that wouldn't happen. But when you're as ugly as I am, you need an awful lot of it. <laughs> National contemporary Christian recording artist David L. Cook. This stop takes him to Roanoke, Virginia, the Roanoke Valley Cathedral of Praise. Showtime is now here.